Hey everyone, so today I have a huge video for you because I am gonna be revealing a hundred different website and apps that you can use to make money online at home for free. Yes, that's right. Now, I know a bunch of you will have heard the saying that in life, nothing is free. But you know what? That saying, it's wrong because in life, there are two things that you can get that are 100% free. The first thing is my eternal gratitude for taking a moment to give this video a like and to subscribe because seriously, every time you do it, it genuinely supports me. So thank you so much for everyone that takes a moment to do so. But the second thing that you're probably much more interested in getting for free is money. And so that's why today I have compiled this list of a hundred different website and apps that you can use to earn money online at home or on your phone that have no hidden startup costs, investment costs or fees. And yes, before you ask, many of these websites and apps are working in countries around the world, not just in the USA. Now, because of the fact that we have so many website and apps to get through on this list, don't worry, I'm not gonna be doing a big tutorial for each website or app. Instead, I'm gonna show you what each one is and then explain how people like you and I are using it to earn money online absolutely 100% for free. And I highly recommend you watch through the entire video because as you'll see, there are a huge variety of ways that people are using these websites and apps to earn money. And so even if one website or app on this list doesn't interest you, chances are another one will. For example, for some people, I know that a website like Coupon Chief is exactly what you're looking for. Registration is free and once you're registered, you can submit a coupon to their website. If you're the first person to register a coupon, you will get 2% off each sale when somebody uses your coupon and you can get up to $25 per month per coupon. And it's visited by millions of people every year and so people do use the coupons submitted on the site to buy things online. One user on Reddit mentioned that they earn up to $140 a month passively off of the coupons that they've previously submitted. For some people watching out there, earning $140 a month in side income for submitting coupons is exactly the sort of hustle that they're looking for. But for others, they'd much prefer a website like Textbroker. This is the website where companies like eBay and Staples hire writers to write articles for their website. And guess what? Textbroker allows users from many countries around the world to register and potentially earn a full-time income for writing these articles. You take a writing test and depending on how good a writer you are, you can earn up to five cents a word per article, which would mean you'd earn $25 for a 500 word article. Or a website like OneClass that pays you $470 to submit your study notes for college classes that you're already taking and already had to take notes for anyway. And then if you're after a full-time income gig, you might be more interested in this, Merch by Amazon. This is a fun creative side gig that's available to over 100 countries worldwide that earns many people a full-time income of thousands of dollars every month by creating and selling merch like t-shirts, hoodies, phone cases, and even phone pop sockets. And yes, it is 100% free to make and sell these. So here's how it works. Once you register for Amazon's merch program and are accepted, you then come in and select which of their merchandise products you'd like to make your own version of and upload either a picture or a slogan that you've created. And as you saw me do there, once you've done that, you can then come in and modify the product that you've chosen to sell. So I went in and chose which color t-shirts I thought my slogan looked best on and set a product price for it. The higher the product price, the higher the commission you earn. And then after that, like I've done here, you create a product page for it, which is super simple. You just need to give your merch a title, two descriptive bullet points and a short description. And that's it, Amazon will create a product page listing for it, which Amazon's customers will be able to find when they're browsing through the website looking for shirts and gifts. And when someone comes in and buys one of the t-shirts that you've created, Amazon will print your design onto a t-shirt in one of their merchandise factories, package it up and ship it out to the customer. In the industry, we call this print on demand website since shirts are printed on demand as customers buy them. For example, this is a simple word slogan t-shirt design that was uploaded to the Merch by Amazon website and app and it's selling great. The Amazon sales estimated tool Jungle Scout estimates that this shirt made around 1,359 sales in the past month. And at its current price of $19.95, the creator is earning a $5.23 commission on each t-shirt. So in the past month, they've made roughly $6,800 passively just from this one t-shirt slogan that they uploaded. And for many people, 6,800 US dollars a month would be more than a full-time income. So as you can see in this video, I am gonna be covering a huge range of websites. 
Some like Merch by Amazon require more effort, but have the potential to earn you a full-time income. And as you'll see, for some of the websites on this list, they can potentially earn you hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Whereas some other websites and apps on this list require a lot less effort and are just good for a bit of extra side money if that's what you're after. Such as Nevo by Defined Crowd. So you know how if you upload a photo to Facebook and it can automatically tag people's faces? Well, that's an example of artificial intelligence. Companies that build apps like this need humans to train it. So that's what Nevo does. It lets companies like Facebook hire people like you or I to do simple AI training tasks like identifying objects or verifying words. Such as this Reddit user here, they speak German and they picked up a gig on there where they'd listen to a German word and see what translation the AI gave it and rate it as accurate or not. They did this for six hours while watching YouTube videos in the background and they got paid 180 US dollars for it. Which means that they were kind of paid 30 US dollars an hour for just watching YouTube videos. <laughs> Usalytics is another website that pays you for completing simple tasks. Big companies like Microsoft need to test their websites to ensure that they're easy to use. So they hire testers through Usalytics to complete simple tasks such as locating an About Us page on their website and then provide feedback on whether it was easy to find the About Us page or not. They pay between $5 and $20 per test. It's often a good idea to sign up to multiple of these websites because they match them to users based on their demographics, such as your age. So you can't just indefinitely complete tasks. You can only complete tasks that are assigned and matched to you. So the more websites you sign up to, the more tests that you'll be given each month. Usability Hub is another website that offers usability tests like this. And so is this free website here, Loop11. And UserBrain is another free website you can sign up to that specializes in short five to 15 minute tests. But out of all of these types of websites, probably the most popular of them all is user testing as they pay $10 per test, which on average takes 20 minutes. So as you can see, you can easily do multiple per hour. When I registered for the site, the first task I was given was to try to locate the opening hours on a museum's website and give feedback on whether it was difficult to find or not. It was actually kind of interesting and I enjoyed doing it. <laughs> I checked on Reddit and saw many people on there using this to earn hundreds to even thousands of dollars in side money each year from usertesting.com alone. But what if you at home are sitting there thinking, well, Sarah, I don't want side money like this. No, I want full-time income money. Well, my friends, this very website that you are on right now, YouTube can be a great source of money. <laughs> Obviously, there are lots of ways to make money from YouTube. One way is through making videos and then earning money through AdSense. As you can see, I've made thousands of dollars this month just from AdSense on my videos. But to be able to make money from AdSense, you need to have at least a thousand subscribers, which is super annoying when you're first getting started. So another way that you can make money from YouTube is by combining it with websites like ShareASale. ShareASale is a huge directory that contains lots of affiliate programs. Affiliates from ShareASale made over $1 billion last year in commissions. So let me show you how an affiliate program works and how I use them to make free money every day from YouTube. So this video here contains a tutorial on how to use one of my favorite apps called Placeit to create t-shirt designs. Well, in that video description, there is a link to place it. This link is an affiliate link. If you look at the full URL, you'll see that there is a tracking code in it. The tracking code tracks whether people click on the link and purchase a subscription. And when people do do that, I get a commission on the sale as a thank you for referring them. And so, as you can see, I've made 6,486 New Zealand dollars, which is around 4,700 US dollars in the past 30 days for people clicking on my Placeit links and my YouTube videos after watching a tutorial on how to use it. For many people, this would be a full-time income alone. And the wonderful thing is you can create video tutorials for apps like Placeit and link to them with affiliate links, whether you have a thousand subscribers or zero subscribers. So share a sale is one website to find these affiliate offers to promote, but you can also check out CG Affiliate, which actually paid out $1.8 billion in commissions last year with big brands you can promote in its affiliate network, such as Barnes & Noble. And you can also check out this free affiliate website and network, Peerfly, for additional products and services to promote and make money with. But you see, here is the thing, making videos and putting them up online, that is not the only way to make money from online videos. Nope, see, here's the deal, right? On all my videos, you'll see that you can turn on English captions and read along with the video. Well, while YouTube does automatically create captions, it's not great at figuring out my New Zealand accent, so I pay a human to do it manually for me. And so, you know where this is going, right? 
Yep, you can make money online for free by transcribing videos like mine. Rev.com is the best and the highest paying overall. If you head on over to Reddit, you'll see that several people use Rev.com to earn hundreds of dollars each week working whenever it suits them. For people like this that need simple, flexible data entry work that they can do from home and don't need to make millions of dollars, Rev has been perfect for them. Moose Mash's comment was particularly powerful for me to read. He was traveling and ran out of money. Rev was able to provide him with the extra money he needed to get home. You do need to register for Rev though, and so if you don't get accepted, in addition, you can also register for this free transcribing gig website here, Go Transcript. And if you're really serious about transcribing, you can apply to GMR Transcription. They make you do a big test to determine if you're good enough, but if you're willing to take it and you pass, then they do offer some of the highest rates in the industry, which is why people earn $1,000 to $3,000 a month on average here. All right then, so the next websites and apps on our list are pretty cool. Did you know? that people are earning money for free just by driving their cars like they usually would? Yep, there are apps out there that track gas prices. That way their users can find the best price gas possible. And one way that they track gas prices is by encouraging people to scan their gas receipts by rewarding them with cash. So if you're out there already buying gas anyway, these are a no-brainer. GasBuddy is an app that offers this, and you can also do this with GetUpside. And there's something else that you can also scan with GetUpside, and that is grocery receipts. Yep, you can earn money online for free just by scanning your grocery receipts. It's the same deal. These apps collect data on grocery prices, and your receipts help them collect that data so that they can track prices and attract users to their app that want to find out where is the best place to buy groceries. I bought her as a receipt scanning app based in the USA. Same with this one here, Receipt Hog, and this one here, Checkout 51, and this app here, Quidco, which is great if you live in the UK. And Shopkick is another grocery scanning app available in multiple countries worldwide, although this one also has an extra way to make money. You can also scan product barcodes in the store, which, again, the company uses to collect pricing data for grocery items in their store, which they then go on and sell to their store's competitors, and reward you as an incentive to keep providing them with that data to sell. So, back to that hustle that I was talking about earlier in this video, print on demand. <laughs> this website here, Redbubble, is one that my longtime subscribers will definitely recognize. Print on demand is the main hustle I teach on this channel, and Redbubble is one of the best free websites to get started with. It's very popular with 30 to 40 million visitors a month coming and looking for products to buy, and it works for many countries worldwide as long as you have a PayPal account. And the way that Redbubble works is very similar to Merch by Amazon. Just like with Amazon, you just upload either a picture or a slogan that you create. On Redbubble, some of the most popular products contain simple text-based designs, such as this one here. You then give your product a title, keywords, and a description. And you choose which products you'd like to sell your design onto, and place the image on the product where you'd like it to be printed. And once you've chosen which merch you'd like to sell your design onto, and placed it where you want it printed, you save it. The entire process is free, there are no fees and no costs. Redbubble will then save a copy of your product in its database and create a product page for it. Redbubble is very popular and every year they sell hundreds of millions of dollars in merch on behalf of users like you and I uploading our designs. Each time a customer buys one of your items, you receive a cash commission. Merch by Amazon requires that you submit an application to sell on their platform, but Redbubble does not. And so it's been very popular with my viewers because anyone can register and start selling products online to make extra money which for some of my subscribers has happened as fast as their first day on the website, which is pretty cool. You can also earn extra money by uploading to other similar print-on-demand marketplaces and websites like Redbubble, such as this site here, Zazzle, which gets roughly 15 to 20 million visitors a month, and Spreadshirt, which gets roughly 2 to 4 million visitors a month, and Cafe Press, which gets roughly 2 to 4 million visitors a month as well, and Threadless, which gets between 1.5 to 2.5 million visitors a month, and TeePublic, which gets between 7 to 10 million visitors a month. And so, while these print-on-demand marketplaces are smaller, together, they add up to more traffic than Redbubble. And so, if you want to maximize how much money you earn from these websites, upload to as many as you can. You can also start your own print-on-demand store on this website here, Etsy. Usually, it costs money to start a store on Etsy, but I actually have a free tutorial video on my channel, which I'll link to in the video description below, which teaches how to open and start a store for free. It's definitely a lot more complex to set one up on Etsy compared to Redbubble, but unlike Redbubble, which gets 30 to 40 million visitors a month, Etsy gets hundreds of millions of visitors a month. Because of this, while my viewers that start a successful Redbubble store earn hundreds of dollars a month, my viewers that start a successful store on Etsy earn thousands of dollars a month as in a full-time income because the market is bigger and thus there's more sales. 
And by the way, if you're watching this video and you'd like to learn even more about setting up a print on demand business, you should be sure to download my free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to Make Over $10,000 a Month. And you'll find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video. And on to the next free money making website. And that is Respondent. This is a website where you can answer surveys submitted by businesses for product research. They match you with surveys eligible to your demographic. They're usually around 30 minutes in length. I checked on Reddit. In some months, people earn hundreds of dollars when they qualify for surveys. But again, since surveys are matched to your demographics, some months you won't be eligible for surveys. But the payouts when you are eligible are really good. So the general advice is just to keep checking back every day to see if any survey pops up that you're eligible for. Another similar website is Prolific. This one also pays well, except instead of specializing in surveys for companies, they specialize in surveys for academic studies. In Testable Minds, where you participate in surveys to aid behavioral and psychology academic studies. And if participating in academic studies doesn't interest you, then Google Opinion Reward is another free survey website. Except unlike Respondent, which have 30 minute surveys, these are quick one to five minute surveys. The payouts are definitely lower as a result, but for what people in the app reviews were saying, they would use this app when they had spare free time. So instead of playing silly phone games on the train, they'd instead open up Google Opinion Rewards and complete some quick surveys in exchange for some cash. And when you run out of eligible surveys to complete on Google Opinion Reward, you can open up another quick survey site, such as Citizen Me, and answer surveys that you qualify for on here. And then open up this free site here, Prize Rebel, and complete your eligible surveys for the day. And you can also check your eligible surveys for the day on Quick Thoughts too. So you've got lots of options to earn extra dollars while you're standing in line waiting at the grocery store. But if you are looking to earn some more serious cash by starting an online business, Kindle is another fantastic option. You can write ebooks and then upload them to Kindle. Every time someone downloads your ebook and reads it, you earn a commission. So once you've got a popular Kindle ebook, it's passive income. You can also earn additional money from this hustle by selling it on other ebook websites. The second most popular one is Apple iBooks, and the third most popular one is Barnes and Nobles. And Google Play is the fourth most popular marketplace, except for in Canada and New Zealand, where Kobo is super popular. So you can upload and sell your ebook on all these sites to make additional money. But you know what? Why not make even more money from your ebook? by turning it into an audiobook and selling it for free on Audible. You can choose to exclusively sell your audiobook on Audible and earn 40% commissions per download, or you can opt to not exclusively sell it on Audible and earn 25% commissions so that you can then also sell it on iTunes and sell it on audiobooks.com too. But you see, here is the thing, right? We are at the midway point for our list of websites and apps. And you know what? If you haven't noticed already, this is a long video. And trying to hold people's attention through a long video is extremely challenging. So you know what, guys? It is time to spice things up. Yep, we're going to keep things interesting by getting a little bit controversial. With our next website on the list, Essay Pro. Yep, this is actually one of the most lucrative ways to earn money online by writing. Now, there are perfectly legitimate reasons why people pay for essays. It's often done to aid in studying, but it's also done to aid in something else cheating, and you never know what your customer is going to use your essay for. There was an interesting article in the HuffPost where an ex-essay writer discussed the gig. They said the pay was great and they had as much work as they wanted while being flexible. So, you know, if you don't mind that your essay that you write can be used for both good and bad, this gig might be for you. Essay Service is another free website that's always on the lookout for new writers. And so is this website here, Essay Shark, and this free website here, Edu Birdie. Of course, if you enjoy writing, but would understandably not want to deal in the essay writing industry. Then there are some free websites out there that you can use to earn money too. You can register for BKA Writing. It works just like Text Broker, the website that I discussed at the start of the video. People purchase articles on here and then BKA opens it up to their writers to write articles as one-off gigs. So you don't have to hustle for clients and jobs. Generally, their writers earn between eight to $14 an hour, depending on how fast they type. A lot of college students pick this up as a nice work from home gig. Same with Verbolo, it's great for writers that just want reliable article writing and don't want to have to advertise their services. You just come on here, select a writing gig and complete it. And if you specialize in copywriting, then be sure to check out Scripted. This works just like the other websites, you can select different writing jobs and complete them, but because it specializes in copywriting, the payouts are much higher. On average, it pays 10 cents a word, which means for 500 words, you get paid 50 US dollars. <laughs> of course, chances are, if you enjoy writing, then you probably enjoy reading books too. 
And if you do, there is another free way to make money online, and that is by reviewing books. Yes, while this may not be the fastest way to earn money, if you enjoy reading books, then why not earn a little bit of extra cash and submit a review? Online Book Club is a free website that gives you a book for free, and then you also get paid to review it. They also do regular Amazon gift voucher giveaways for members. And if you'd like to earn more cash per review instead of more Amazon vouchers, check out Kirkus. Here people pay to have their books reviewed and Kirkus hires reviewers to give their books an honest review. But if like me, you have a specific genre that you are interested in reading, that being true crime, then perhaps the next websites would be a fun way to earn a bit of extra money online by being what is called an e-juror. You see, lawyers when preparing cases like to test their case against a mock jury to see how compelling it is before they actually go to trial. So a lot of lawyers hire mock jurors online to read over their evidence and arguments and give them their verdict, guilty or not guilty. These are real court cases going to an actual trial someday, so if you're interested in true crime, it doesn't get much better than this. Online Verdict is a website that offers this. It's 100% free, no fees to join. You spend 20 to 60 minutes reading over trial evidence and then give your verdict on which side you agree with the defense or prosecution. You earn $20 to $60, depending on how long the case is. If you're into true crime, this is actually quite fun and interesting, but because you're matched based on your demographic, you have to wait until a case comes up that you're eligible for, which is why it is a good idea to sign up to multiple sites that offer this such as this free website here, Jury Test, and this website here, eJury, and this website, Sign Up Direct, which is quite popular as they actually pay up to $100 for some of their bigger cases. But what if you don't enjoy reading? What if you do enough thinking in your day job that when you come home, you just wanna sit there and complete some simple, easy tasks in exchange for a bit of extra cash on the side? Then my friends, why not check out this free website here, Swagbucks. On here you can do simple tasks like completing surveys, using their search engine instead of Google, and even watching videos, which you can do in the background and don't even have to actively watch them. When you do, you earn Swagbuck points, which you can then convert into PayPal cash. I checked it out on Reddit and found several threads like these where Swagbuck users discussed how much money they make in a month or a year. This particular thread asked how much money people made in 2020. And a lot of people were earning an extra $1,000, $2,000, with one person earning an extra $5,000 last year. But because Swagbuck also matches you with tasks based on your demographic, it means that you can't just sit there on Swagbucks watching videos indefinitely. And so if you want to maximize the amount of money that you earn with this method, most people who make money this way will register with similar websites even if they're smaller and have less daily tasks. GameGG is a popular one that I see people on Reddit using a lot to make money on the side. And GG2U.org is another free similar website. And GamerMine is another popular one too. One clever tip I saw a lot of people say is they choose to watch video tasks from these sites and just leave them on the background with the sound off on their computer while they do things like cook dinner or have a shower or watch whatever they want to watch on TV instead. But of course, if you're sitting there and you're a qualified expert, then while you leave these videos on in the background silently, why not use that extra time to also earn a full-time income too? And one way that you can do that is with this free website here, Just Answer. This can genuinely replace a full-time job. You register and apply to be an expert on a subject. People can book calls with you to ask you questions. On average, people earn between $2,000 to $7,000 a month on here. You can also increase the number of calls you get by registering for similar websites, such as this free website here, Clarity, and this free app here, Call Me For. But what if you are more academic rather than being a professional expert in your subject? Then online tutoring could be great for you. There are several websites where you can sign up to make money online as a tutor. For example, if you register for School Solver and are selected as a tutor, you can be paid to answer questions that students have. Or you can sign up for tutor.com and if accepted, will be a tutor for the website and be matched with students who need tutoring in your chosen subject. No marketing of your service is required. Same with this tutoring website here, Aim4A. And you can also check out Cambly. Cambly doesn't match you, but instead you choose to match with students. Students are constantly signing on to Cambly and each time they request a tutor, if you're online, you get the opportunity to take them on as a client. First in, first serve. No marketing of your services required. You're paid per minute only between $10 to $12 an hour. But Sarah, I can hear you say, what if I don't have a degree to become a tutor because I'm still a college student? Well then, why don't you instead just get paid to go to college instead? That's right. You can be paid to go to college and take notes. I've already mentioned one class, 
as a website that lets you do this, but that's not the only website that pays you for your class notes. Nope, StudySuit pays you up to $500 for each class you take notes for. Considering you have to go to classes anyway and have to take notes, getting paid $500 to do so, that's a no-brainer. Or if you'd rather get a commission cut on the sale rather than one-off payment, you could instead list your class notes you've made here in Nexus Notes, which is the most popular marketplace for buying and selling notes. On here, you earn a 50% commission. You could also opt to sell them on Oxbrook Notes, which, while smaller, has a much higher 72% commission per sale. And if you don't have notes but have some other type of study materials that you've prepared for yourself, such as flashcards or book summaries, you could instead sell them on here, Stuvia. But what if you don't have a degree and don't want to have to teach anything and would much prefer just to complete some simple data entry style tasks in exchange for some side cash? Well then my friends, these free websites coming up are for you. Amazon Mechanical Turk is a site that pays you to complete basic tasks such as tagging objects in photos and verifying addresses and phone numbers on websites. From what I saw from mTurkers on Reddit, the more you do it, the more you get offered higher paid tasks. Most people agreed it's perfect for the sort of person that likes to be doing something with their hands while they're binging Netflix. It lets you watch TV while also making an extra $20 to $50 a day. And of course, part of the way of maximizing your earnings with this method is to, over time, become more choosy with tasks to complete. And so that's why a lot of people sign up for similar websites so that they can cherry pick tasks from all of them, such as this website here, Clickworker in this website here, Job Boy, and this site here, Microworkers. But here's the thing, when you register for these websites, you're registering for fast, efficient convenience. They have small tasks you can perform already to go. You just log in and complete them. Because there is no marketing of your services and you don't have to hustle for clients, these websites have small payout rates because they're taking a big cut for doing that part for you. However, if you are willing to set up your own gig online offering services and market that independently, then you could instead look to list your services on a gig website such as Fiverr, which lets you create gigs for free. And if suitable, you can also list your services as gigs on this website here, SEO Clerks, which specializes in selling gigs related to search engine optimization. Or you can list your services as gigs on Jungle Scout Market, which specializes in selling gigs directly related to improving people's Amazon FBA businesses. Or you could flip it around where instead of you listing gigs on marketplaces that people purchase from you, that customers instead list gigs that they want completed that you then just come in and do for them, which is what People Per Hour lets you do. And also this free website here, TaskRabbit, which has a section on the website where people can list digital tasks that they need completed, which you can offer to do for them. Or if you are especially talented, you can register for TopTool, a site that instead matches jobs with freelancers. You do need to be in the top 3% of your industry, but if you are, it is a fast, efficient, easy, free way to find well-paid gigs and projects from major companies like Shopify. And if your industry is web development, then there's actually another website dedicated just for you to make money online like this, <laughs> Lemon.io. Once accepted, they will match developer gigs and projects to you without you having to market yourself. And speaking of done-for-you ways to make money online, did you know that there are websites and apps out there that will sell and ship your secondhand clothing for you? All for free, with no upfront cost or fees, just a commission cut on the sale? Because there are! Poshmark is one of those apps. Poshmark will send you a shipping bag, you then put your clothes that you want to sell into the bag and send it back to them. They will list them for sale in their store and when they're bought, we'll ship them to the customer and pay you a commission. All hands off! ThreadUp is another free website that offers this with their clean out kit where you clean out your closet of clothes you don't want to wear anymore and ship them into them. Or if you have secondhand luxury clothing and accessories, you can then list them for sale on this website here and when a customer buys them, what they'll instead do is send you a shipping label so that you can send them direct to the customer. Or of course, you can always just list them for yourself on eBay. If you do need some fast money, you can list items from around your home for sale as all members get free eBay item listings each month. In America, I believe you get 50 free listings each month. Or you could instead opt to sell them on Craigslist, which actually is also a really great place to find cheap secondhand clothing to flip and sell. And so that's what a lot of people have done. They've built businesses by getting money and startup capital by using these free websites to sell their clothing that they no longer wear to then reinvest that money into buying cheap secondhand clothing from thrift stores and Craigslist to flip for a nice profit. But of course, for those of you out there that are disinterested in clothes, we're gonna go back to listing free websites that pay you to type words at your computer. <laughs> Translation websites. Yep, if you speak two or more languages, you can always make money on the side at home translating content online. 
Translate.com is nice because you don't have to list and market your services. People come in, list the content they want translated and translators select it on a first come first serve basis. No having to bid for work or advertise your service to get clients. Tethros is the same. This is a website where mobile app developers can get their in-app text translated, just like translate.com. Once you're accepted, you can select jobs when it's convenient for you and complete them. One Hour Translator is another similar free website. On average, the starting pay is 12 US dollars for a one hour project and that increases as you gain experience. Of course, if you instead prefer a guaranteed rate, you can register and apply to join the waitlist work for Unbabble, which guarantees at least eight US dollars an hour. Or if you prefer to be paid for each word you translate, Textmaster is accepting applications right now and it pays up to 15 cents per word. So if you translated 100 words, that'd be $15. Nice. Now remember when I said that this video was a long video? Yeah, I wasn't kidding. So to reward you for making it this far in the video, let me show you some extremely cute video clips of dogs and puppies. <laughs> yep, did you know that you could be making money online for free just by reposting cute photos and videos of dogs? It's true. See, here's the thing, right? Instagram, it's not just a place to post pictures of food. No, it's a place to make money. See, here is a fun Instagram page that somebody built from scratch for free just by reposting cute, funny pictures of dogs and videos and doing it consistently. And over time, people have naturally found this page and started following it through hashtags. And now it makes money because of websites like this, Shoutcard. This is a website that lets you list your Instagram page that you build by reposting cute and funny pictures and then selling shoutouts on it. So that Instagram page, it's got a listing on here, it's set up for free, no upfront costs or fees. It's selling a 24 hour shout out with a link in the bio for $90. Well, if we go back to the page and check it out, what do we see? Somebody has bought a 24 hour shout out with a link in the bio to this dog water bottle that they're selling. Well, one shout out a day over a week is $600. Pretty good, if I do say so myself, just for reposting fun dog videos and pictures. <laughs> and you can make additional money by reaching more potential customers by listing yourself on similar marketplace here, Shoutify, in this marketplace here, Shoutout Experts. And if you're willing to do multiple shout outs as part of a bigger brand deal, then this website here, Popular Pays, is free to list your Instagram accounts on so that you can snag lucrative page sponsorships. Phew, guys, this video, I will admit, took so much time and effort to make. And so if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new from it, then I'd really appreciate if you gave this video a like and you subscribe to get more free videos about making money online. And if you would like to learn more about how I make money online, you should be sure to watch my video, Five Income Sources I Built in My 20s That Makes Me Over $1,000 a Day. So go ahead, watch my next video, and I'll see you over there.